I have a very bad news for you people. Everton got two more points deducted. You know what that means? They are coming to get three points at Stamford Bridge. The first time they got hit by point deduction early this season, you know what happened? They beat Chelsea 2-0 convincingly. And this time around, they are going to do the same thing if Pochettino continue his way of coaching this team. I'm not confident, but I am positive, if that makes sense. I am a very positive guy. I always want to see Chelsea succeed, no matter how bad people think that we are. But right now, it's very hard to build some kind of confidence in me. But I'm positive. Let me remind you the table very quickly. Arsenal, Liverpool, Manchester City, Tottenham Hotspurs, Aston Villa, Manchester City, West Ham. And you know why I'm so angry right now? Chelsea are ninth. And if they beat Burnley and Sheffield United, they were going to be seventh just behind Manchester, City, Manchester United. Imagine that. And we could even dream. You never know what could happen the last uh, eight games in the Premier League. You might find yourself somehow in the Champions League spot. And Pochettino one more time bottled it. Everton are struggling for relegation. They are 16th now. And they know if they beat Chelsea, they can go 30 points. So... Pochettino needs to do whatever it takes. Just common sense, man. Use common sense. It's not that hard to use common sense in football. So this video is about head-to-head -head comparison between the two teams. Let me go so, as you can tell, the game is going to be on Monday, actually. Probably the second or third time this season that we, we're going to play on Monday. Like, everybody else already played and all the pressure on you. But it is what it is. USA Network, if you are here in the U.S. Or Universal, if you speak Spanish. It's not going to be on Peacock. So let's go head to head. Recent meetings. Let's start by the bottom one and we go up. Chelsea against Everton was 1 1 at Stamford Bridge, December 2021. And then Everton 1, Chelsea 0. It was May 2022. And then Chelsea went away to beat Everton 1 0. At Goodison Park, which is almost impossible for Chelsea to win there, we depended on Jorginho penalty, doji penalties, and we scored 1-0. And that was August 2022. And then Chelsea 2, Everton 2, Stamford Bridge, March 2023. And the last time we played against them, it was away at Goodison Park, and they beat Chelsea 2-0. We're going to come back to that game. Let's continue and check on the form guide. So for Everton, for the last uh, five games, they, they lost three. Against West Ham, Manchester United, Bournemouth. They drew against Newcastle United. And they beat Burnley. 1-0 the last game in the Premier League. And for Chelsea, look at us. Three draws and two wins. We won against Manchester United. Everybody knows how we got there. It's not like we were awesome or anything. It was just very, very lucky win for Chelsea. Okay? And then 
we we drop point against Burnley 2-2 Newcastle United we beat them 3 uh, 3-1 we beat them through <clears throat> why I'm I'm doing this <clears throat> Let's move on to form guide. For Chelsea Football Club, you see here that we drew against Brentford 2-2. We won against uh, Newcastle United 3-2. We drew against Burnley at Stamford Bridge 2-2. We beat Manchester United 4-3. And we drop point 2-2 against Sheffield United in the Premier League, the last game that we, we played them. Season so far. For Everton, they lost three games. They drew one game. And they won one game in the last five. They lost against West Ham, Manchester United, Bournemouth. They drew against Newcastle United. And they won against Burnley 1-0. So who got momentum here? They got momentum because the last time in the Premier League, they won their game. We dropped point against Sheffield United, the worst team in the Premier League this season. Season so far, I've already talked about it a little bit. Chelsea are ninth, Everton are 16th. Games won <laughs> 12 for Chelsea, 9 for Everton. There's no a big difference at all. We drew the same amount of games 8 8. <laughs> Chelsea, man. And then we lost 10 games, they lost 14 games. This is telling you that uh, we have to be careful. Let's go to player statistics. All right. We have Cole Palmer. <clears throat> Let's go to top players. No. Let's go to player statistics. Cole Palmer already scored 16 goals for Chelsea this season. The second one is Nicholas Jackson with nine. And Everton Dukure is like the third on this list here with six goals for Everton. For assist, Cole Palmer nine, Conor Gallagher six, Malo Gusto five. And for tackles, James Garner, 73. Conor Gallagher, 70. Minkolenko, 65. They are very good defensively, very organized. And this is Charity FC. And we might just give them the opportunity to come back. All right, so let's now go to the last game that we played against them so you understand what happened that day. Abdullah Dukure and Lois Dobin. Have you heard of him before? No, but Chelsea gave him a career. The way we did with uh, Lois Miley. Remember? You know, from the Jodies. Newcastle United, and we did it with Bradley also from uh, Liverpool. Like, we give people careers, like people that you never heard of. They're going to play very good or score a goal against Chelsea, and everybody is talking about them. We missed a lot of chances as per usual that day. And Pickford was also very good because he was even the man of the match. That tells you that we, we shoot the ball on target. We, we just couldn't score. It's a Chelsea thing. If you go to statistics, look at that. Chelsea 72%. Stupid possession. 
that means nothing the end of the day. Shot on target. Chelsea 4, Everton 5. They scored 2 goals. Chelsea scored 0. Shot altogether. Chelsea 16, Everton 9. Other stats here, I don't really care much. So as you can tell here, my friend, it's not an easy task. It's a Stamford Bridge on Monday under the light. Chelsea, do not let us down. Listen, this was just a head-to-head -head video. I am going to make another video about my match preview. Probably after the press conference because uh, we don't know who is injured and who is not. And we know that Chelsea are injury FC. So probably I have to wait a little bit before I make my preview. But all I can tell you is if we are not careful, we're going to regret it at the end. Mm -hmm.